We are trying to engineer the next generation of uh, cell factories made for the production of therapeutic proteins. So that would be the next generation of uh, drugs, protein-based drugs to be used for treatment of patients, of cancer patients, diabetes, so on and so forth. The Cho or Chinese hamster ovary cells are actually the workhorse and have been the workhorse for the production of their protein-based therapeutics for 20 years or more. But nobody have really known what the function and how they really work. So we are very much elucidating the inside of the Cho cells, trying to make them better at producing proteins and trying to make them produce proteins that they have not been able to produce before. So the goal is to get better drugs and cheaper drugs and to produce them faster. The challenges from working with Cho cells is one thing that they grow uh, slow compared to bacteria. So uh, a Cho cell divides every 24 hours compared to 20 minutes uh, for a bacteria. It takes longer time to do these when you do changes and want to engineer in the Cho cells. It's just a slower process. The other challenge that we face is the fact that the genome of the Cho cell line is, is very unstable and very diverse. So it's sometimes pretty hard to figure out exactly what's going on in the cell because it has a tendency to change. Well, my ultimate goal is to go down to the pharmacy, point up on the shelf and say, I made that. <laughs>